Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first video on how to draw your own artworks. Before we get to drawing, let's take a very quick look at the art styles of the Vikings. There are six styles defined throughout the times and what I recommend for you to do is to look into the ones that appeal to you and just google them and pick out elements you like to adapt for your drawings. Keep in mind that if you're not aiming to recreate something historically accurate, there's really no right or wrong. You do you and don't let anybody tell you that's not how it's supposed to look like. If you want to learn more about those traditional styles, just visit the website of the Anatomy of the Viking Art. I will put links to all artists and sources in the video description. Now let's take a quick look at some popular artworks of some of my favorite artists. A key feature in many Viking style artworks is that there is a main form or subject, like for example the abstract depiction of a wolf, which is prominent and is surrounded by thinner knotworks or knotworks that fill in spaces like this over here. For this tutorial, I will divide the ways to draw knotworks into two groups. Let's call them geometrical and free form. What I would consider geometrical is the style of knotwork you can use a frame for. Something like this you create a frame, and out of the frame you make the knotwork. But for today, we will focus on free form. To start off, come up with a rough shape of your lines and knots. Something like this. Now that you have defined your lines, you can decide on the thickness and proportions of them. For this example, I will just go with a uniform shape. I'll speed up the video and see you in a second. Now that that's done, let's create the actual knot. What you want to do is erase the intersections so that your line always alternates between going on top and going underneath. When you are happy with your result, just refine the lines once more and make them a little thicker for the final design. Alright, so far so good. Obviously, you can spend some more time perfecting all the lines, but I think for the purpose of demonstrations, this one is good enough. Now comes the personalization. Remember the art styles you looked at and the features. Now pick your favorite features and try to apply them or just come up with something new. I have prepared a sheet for experimentation and I will put a link for you to print it in the description. I am once again going to speed up the footage a little and try to transform these basic shapes into different styles. See you in a minute. As you can see, once you have your basic design idea put to paper, it's all just a matter of adding your personal favorite features and proportions. I hope you guys find this very basic video helpful. If you do and you want to see more, I would go into custom shapes, 
filling spaces or maybe animal designs, whatever you guys want, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching and until next time, see you soon.